Hi fans of high quality entertainment. In my previous video, I talked about the Beatles Revolver and the Stereo 2009 remaster. And so I thought I would check out Rubber Soul and talk about the Stereo Mix. And this album definitely, like all of the Beatles albums, really needs to be remixed. And uh, I think that is one of the reasons I don't play their... I, I play Revolver a lot more than this one. But this one especially, oh my god, it needs to re be remixed. And then I'll be playing the hell out of it. Because I, I, I guess, not even thinking, you know, when this came out in 2009 and I played it and, and enjoyed it, of course, but I think that's what was bugging me about it, is the poor stereo separation. You know, drums in one channel, vocals in the other. Kind of annoying. And I know some people are saying, just listen to the mono mixes, which is fine. But I live in an apartment building, so I use headphones 90% of the time. And uh, so, of course, mono in headphones it really doesn't sound that great. Uh, so I'm going to quickly, or very slowly, go through all of the songs. Drive My Car. Vocals are on the right side. Drums. I think, I think they're on the left side, but here I typed in uh, right. They're on the left side. Cowbell on the right. Bass on the right. Keyboards on the right. Bad mix. Guitar solo on right channel. So right there, it's, uh, it's just annoying. I would love the, I think I would actually love the song. I think it's, and it's uh, one of my least favorite Beatles songs, but it might be partially because of the mix, which I'd never really thought about before. Norwegian Wood. Acoustic on the right, sitar on the left, vocals on the right, bass on the right. Uh, Music-wise, I really don't mind the acoustic on the right, the sitar on, on the left. Uh, it's just the vocals on the right side, which is annoying. You Won't See Me, which is my least favorite Beatles song. Like, instead of, you know, little, like, Dig It, Maggie Me, I'm not including those little snippets of songs, is what I call them. Uh, and I think because it just kind of drags on a, a bit for a Beatles song. But that doesn't mean I don't love the song. I still love the song. I especially love the part time after time, that, that bit. But anyway, lead vocals are on the right side, guitar on the right, bass is centered. They actually centered something. Drums are on the left channel and the background vocals are centered. I see another air already. Nowhere Man. Vocals are on the right side, guitar on the left, and then I have, because uh, I, I did this first thing in the morning after I woke up, or maybe I wasn't even awake. Uh, it says bass centered, and then it says bass on left, guitar on right. But anyway, it's still not a great mix. Think for yourself. Double tracked vocals on right and left. Some vocals in both channels. George lead vocals on left channel, drums are on the left channel, uh, shaker or whatever it is on the right channel. Now, the one thing I'm confused with is there's a bass on the left channel, but on the right channel, is that the fuzz bass that I'm hearing or is that, because I'm not a musician, but it's a, uh, I think it's the, the fuzz bass, I don't know. Uh, but it, I wrote at the end one of the better mixes, so not as annoying as some of the other songs. The word. Guitar on the left, bass on the right channel, vocals in both channels. John vocals on the right channel, drums on left channel. They, a lot of the times they would have Ringo's drums just on the one channel. So just imagine it remixed and the drums centered. What goes on? Guitar on the right, Ringo vocals on the left. 
that's because he drums on that side. Uh, background vocals on the right side, drums of course on the left, and the bass is centered. There's just some songs, it's like nothing is in the middle. It's like everything's on the right channel or it's on the left channel. Girl, the vocals are on the right, the acoustic guitar is on the left, the bass is on the left, the drums are on the left. Other guitar works on the right channel and the guitars near the end are on both channels. I'm looking through you. I wanted to mention, because this of course is the British version, which opens with uh, drive my car instead of I've just seen a face, but the, the one thing of many I love about the American version is on I'm looking through you. Uh, they have a little flub at the start where the song starts and then they screw up or whatever and they start it again. I hope if they do remix it that they include that in the uh, new version. But then again, uh, maybe they should keep it as the way the British version was, I guess, I don't know. Vocals on the right side, drums are on the left, guitar on the right, acoustic guitar on left, other percussion on right side, electric guitar on right side. So not a lot is centered in these songs. In my life, acoustic guitar on the left, vocals centered, but more towards the right. It's, it was, uh, yeah, it just seemed they were more centered, but it seemed a little louder on the right channel, unless my hearing is going. Uh, guitars in both channels, tambourine, shakers in, in left channel, drums on the left side. If I needed someone. Vocals on the right, bass on the right, drums on the left, guitars on the left channel, and there's some guitar work uh, near the end, I believe, on the right channel. And finally, Run For Your Life. And what's weird on Spotify is, you know, I was playing the songs, and for Run For Your Life, I can't play the song. I don't know why. I had to go to YouTube to listen to it. Anyway, Run For Your Life. Guitar on the left, vocals on the right, drums on the right? Maybe it was reversed on YouTube because the drums are always on the left side. Uh, bass on the right, more guitar work on the right, chorus in both channels, guitar solo in right channel. It doesn't matter. I wrote here at the end, one of the worst mixes. Uh, so that's it. And I guess in a way, because Fit to be Tie-Dyed had mentioned in a, in a recent video about did the Sgt. Pepper remix spoil you? And I guess in a way it did, because like I said, I rarely play this album. And listening to it now, I think it's because of the, the stereo separation being so bad, because otherwise if it was remixed like Sgt. Pepper, I would be playing it a lot. So, hopefully they remix this, because it is such a superb album. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's exercise. Exercising with the Beatles. Have a great day. Bye.